things, but on the other hand, it's it's done some bad things, and I just don't understand why Democrats are just, they don't want to acknowledge any of the things that he's done wrong. Um, and then looking at the uh, next administration, that's one of the reasons I don't even want to see the speech, because I don't want to live in the past. I want to move towards the future. And um, this whole thing where if you don't get your way, that you disrupt everything, and you uh, first you do recounts, and then you do... Um, uh, you know, then you question the electoral college. Th then you, uh, you know, you do protests. I, I just, I don't understand why, if you lose an election, you don't, you can't accept the results. And it seems like we are in for another uh, four years of everything Trump tries to do. The Democrats are going to be there to try to um, overturn it or be an obstacle to um, right. And what's going on? And you know what? The, the biggest irony of it is that Donald Trump, at one of the debates, was asked if you think it's rigged or if you don't agree with it. What are you going to do? And he basically said, you know, I'm going to take a wait-and-see approach. And right away, the liberal media, Hillary Clinton, jumped on him. But it's exactly the very thing that they did when Donald Trump won the election, right? You well, just I'll said tell you this. I, I was an independent, you know, and I, be, I voted in some elections Democratic, and I voted in some uh, elections Republican. After the way the uh, – I, I, what I'm seeing now in terms of the Democrats – I don't think I will ever vote Democratic again. I don't care what the circumstances are. It's disgraceful, some of the things they're doing. Now, what about they're talking about the Russians, the Russians, the Russians? I thought Hillary Clinton won the popular vote. So how could there be <laughs> hacking? If there was hacking, she won the popular vote. Right. So wait, what's the issue? The issue is just to derail the country, bring the country to more, you know, to make us weaker than we are already. Um, I don't understand how the, the Democrats could just ignore Chicago. I've been to Chicago a few times. <clears throat> Great city. However, most of the city is a disaster area when you leave the uh, business area. Why aren't? Why doesn't Obama take any type of initiative there? Why aren't the Democrats trying to fix that situation? How many thousands of people were shot last year? 4,000 people practically? 800 murders almost? I mean, to me, there's some big issues. And the Democrats, well... I guess it doesn't exist. Do you think that? Do you think I, that I President so Obama hearing Ed. about racism and it's every time, every time something goes wrong, it's it's racism, and I, I'm just tired of it. All right, let me ask you and this: I think the American well, public Ed, is also. When President Obama went to Chicago to give his speech, do you think he and his entourage are going to go into the, the the very dangerous part of Chicago and try to make a connection with these these gangbangers that are killing these people left and right? Do you think that would happen? No, not at all. And yet, he talks about his legacy is that race relations, he's claiming, improved. I don't see that. I think they're a thousand times worse than they were eight years ago. Did you have, did you have the Black Lives Matter movement eight no. years ago? No. Did you have the amount of murders in Chicago that you had uh, eight years ago? There's a lot. There's, this crime rate in Chicago is much higher and in most of the cities around the country. Uh, and Baltimore that's, and that's is another fact. one. Yeah. Cleveland's another one. Um, why aren't the Democrats taking, you know, owning up to this? And as I said again, I, you know, I was an independent, but after seeing the way the Democrats are conducting themselves, I, I, just, I I'm amazed. And then, seeing, you know, some of these uh, websites that people send me these, um, these Democratic, um, these, you know, left wing fanatical websites that are out there that just want to just destroy America as we know it because they didn't win the election. Now, let me ask you, what is crime like, let's say, in the inner city of Atlanta? Well, I think the inner, inner, Atlanta basically is 12 counties. That, the, um, the whole Atlanta area is um, 12 counties. So it's hard to, to, in order to look at the crime, you'd have to look at each county. Um, when you say Atlanta, you think of Fulton, DeKalb, Clayton. Um, you know, as I said, it's 12 counties that Atlanta claims to, to you know like an umbrella and all the counties are under it um where there is no where there is low um income you know where there's high uh, unemployment and there's low income of course you're gonna have higher crime but we've had a democratic mayor we always will because that's just the way it is i think it's like 100 here. years you've had a democratic mayor it's, it's amazing yeah. how long you've had a democratic mayor but um as i think the country and then we're getting you know talking about something else on the federal level how can anyone say that there's not a problem with Obamacare? I could tell you that up, up in, before Obamacare, I was paying $40 a month, and my deductible was 
after Obamacare, my deductible is four thousand dollars, and I pay a hundred and forty dollars a month. So, <laughs> anyone that's out there and well, says Obamacare it works, it works if you're one of the twenty million that didn't have any insurance. So now you you have it, but there's one big problem. The 20 million people that are getting that insurance, that's on the back of everybody else that's paying for it. So the Democrats that say that Obamacare is working and not to touch it and leave it alone, that, that makes no sense to me. Right. But I think the, Demo the Republicans now, now that they're in power, now that President uh, Trump will be taking office in a, a week or two, they have to come up with a plan. Because in two well, years, there's going to be a midterm election. I, I, will, I really wish there was a plan. I, I would have thought that in the last six months, they would have had a plan ready to go. Now, I'll tell you this. If the Republicans in the first, in the first two years of, of uh, Trump's administration, if they act like they did in the, the last few years with Obama, in, in 2018, they're going to lose. It's going to be a bloodbath because they cannot do the same old nonsense that they did. Ref always giving into Obama, afraid to do any doing, afraid to do anything. If they do that again, and they they start squabbling, and and I would have thought by now that somebody behind the scenes would have had a health plan ready to go. You ran on that that you wanted to op repeal it. So now it's now you're going to repeal it. You better have something ready for the American public in the next few weeks. Right. But I, I honestly believe that Donald Trump will work better with the Democrats than Obama worked with the Republicans. Because, oh, yeah. Because remember I, he I, said, I, just, I got a pen, I got a phone. With an election, there are consequences. I think, I think Obama was more concerned about his agenda where Donald Trump's agenda is, and again, cliche, make America great. What does that mean? Lower taxes. Uh, keep out the flow of illegal immigration. Make it easier for a businessman to open a business without all these regulations. That helps everybody. It doesn't just help Democrats. Doesn't help Republicans. It helps everybody. Well, the world, the uh, World Bank said today that uh, with under Trump's tax plan, it's going to stimulate the world economy. So there's things that you have to see that CNN is not going to tell you. They're not going to say but, that. You know that you have to. See, I mean, that was that's pretty good. I mean, it, we need we got to put people to work, but not just work at minimum wage. We need people that are going to get high paying jobs, not jobs that are just you know right. dead end jobs or or minimum wage jobs. Right, and we want we don't want so many restrictive. Um uh, conditions placed on business. We want a business right. owner not to have to fill out 8,000 pages and do this and do that. Or if you're a farmer and, and you have some kind of uh, insect on your lot, they're not going to come and say, oh, wait a minute, you can't, you can't plow there because that's on the endangered species list. you got to find a fair balance. Right. Um, you know, one of the things that Obama did, he did come in and I voted for him, um, you know, with, when... Um, you know, during the financial crisis, we needed a change. And one thing he did, he was off to a good start. Um, you, could, you, you could disagree with it, but he saved the auto industry. I mean, he saved, they basically averted a financial collapse. But at that point, things started going downhill. In the second term, I did not vote for him. I don't think he did enough to help the middle class. And there was, I was watching something today um, in the afternoon that they had some people from Chicago saying that Obama didn't do anything to really help the city, you know, after being from there and, you know, promising, making promises, nothing was done. I think he got off to a good start. I think he was able to use, you know, George Bush's, you know, look, I inherited a mess and I cleaned it up. Yes, you did to a certain degree, but you may have cleaned up the mess, but you didn't go far enough to then grow the economy. And that's why I think he ran into so much trouble in the second term. Um, I, I think healthcare probably should have never even been. I don't understand after going through a financial crisis, you finally got the uh, auto industry working. You got the you know the banks stabilized. What was the need? And you said it right. I think he just had his agenda, That's right. and he wanted to make sure that he got healthcare done. It didn't matter if it was terrible, which it is. Obamacare. If, if you line up nine out of ten people, will tell you it's terrible. That tenth person is probably someone that didn't have health care, so they like it. But the people that are paying for it hate it. Um, and I, I think you are one hundred percent right. He just had this agenda after he cleaned up, you know, uh, bailed out the banks, bailed out um, the uh, auto industry. Auto industry. I think he then. Okay, then he said, "Okay, I got to do health care." I remember Nancy Pelosi. I mean, uh, we have to vote. We have to vote for the bill so we see what's in it. Right. 
uh, what was in it was just making people's lives miserable. You have a lot of um, areas around the country where people only have one ins- one company left that um, is under Obamacare. Right. See, another thing too is I think Republicans can look at this as look at things practically. All right, what do I need to do to make things better? Sometimes it's like the liberals look at things and say, "Well, I have an agenda. My my vision of the world." will be better served if I do this. Like, I'll give you an example. Sanctuary cities. We all hear about that all the time on the news. Kate Steinle in San Francisco was killed by a guy that was deported like six times. Why does Rahm Emanuel, when his people are being slaughtered, give a press conference? Not about the people that are dying. I want to continue sanctuary cities, he said. Why do they believe that that's the way to go? I, I don't understand that at all, um, I, and especially with Chicago being the – now, let's say Chicago had a very low crime rate and everybody was working. Then he had would have a case to make it a sanctuary city. But when you have the conditions over the, where people are afraid to go out at night and you, a, a sixth-grade girl was asked um, – the, uh, on TV, she was asked, you know, what what do you want to do when you grow up? She goes, I just want to be alive. I right. think that's a major problem with with Chicago, and I'm sure that's echoed around the country. That's something. These sanctuary cities is something that just that doesn't really make any sense, and I, I don't understand why the the liberals are so you know, concerned about illegal immigrants, their rights and everything. But meanwhile, you have people dying that are U.S. citizens, you know, in the, in the streets around the country. And here's an example of, of a liberal. I, uh, I I get into this debate with um, with one of my friends who's moved to Florida, retired from New York City, and very ultra left. But meanwhile, she has a very high, great, she has a great pension. She has like complete health care taken care of. But then she's trying to dictate – she wants to dictate how the Republicans are supposed to um, basically cave in and give in to the liberal agenda. Uh, you know, she, um, I'm so tired of hearing that you know, Trump is racist, Trump is this, Trump is that, Trump stole the, the Russians, uh, you know, they hacked the, um, the election. And the, 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 um, every time I speak with her, it's almost like she's unhinged. It's, right. uh, it's every, I, she sends me these left-wing sites, and I don't understand because they're not, it's not helping if the, if the liberals don't get on board – and help the you know with the United States to try to make things better. Things are only going to get worse. But they are bent on seeing Trump fail, see the Republicans fail. So in 2020, they get the White House back. Is that the mission of of the liberals? Uh, uh, guys, we got a, we got a comment here. Um, somebody's uh, this should cause some controversy. What's that? Somebody's like, my opinion about Obama is that he killed bin Laden so he could now be in charge and formed ISIS and he rules them and was trying to destroy the U.S. until the that people, like my friend, my until friend the people took control and elected Trump. He has created ca- a chaos in every facet. <laughs> that yeah, Obama that has. Yeah. It's just um, people have you know views that... Um, you know, Obama's one of the things I, I think that he did, one of the, I, only, one of the bright spots of his... Of the, of his um, presidency was getting Osama bin Laden. Um, but, you know, Clinton could have got him way back when. He did. He had him. And he, he, let, he let him slip through his hands. So, you know, it's Obama finally you know, had him, and I'm, thank God he acted on it. Right. But um, there's been other, you know, foreign policy um, decisions that he's made that um, I, I just don't understand. Letting in all the – but I, my biggest thing, what I don't understand in Europe is how all – you know, we let – Europe let in all these immigrants from Syria, and now they're having all kinds of issues. Why would you let, the, why would you let them in without vetting them, without finding out what their intentions are? Well, look how bad Merkel looks now. Yeah. She but just the come on in. Done, and we want to do the same thing. We are very lucky that Donald Trump got in. To the that the Republicans got in because who knows what this country would have came to. I, I like to hear you say that because I remember during the election you weren't so sure. I, yeah, I, exactly. But the way the uh, the Democrats are behaving, and the way the um, uh, okay, I'll tell you how unhinged people are. I said to um, you know, you heard about Alibaba is going to move a lot of you know, sure. create a lot of jobs in the United States. Um, you heard about um, that's like Chinese uh, yeah. Amazon. Well, my friend in Florida t- sends me a text back. Oh, they're ch- the Chinese, uh, you know, something just ridiculous. Uh, the the only reason Trump did that is to make money for his family and steal billions from the American public. I'm like, I am, I don't even want to respond to her anymore. It because the <laughs> it's becoming it 
like so unhinged. And then I like I every time she um, puts these, uh, she'll try to post things on my page, on my Facebook. I will um, then take a picture of the billboard that I um, that I have of uh, you know Trump's um, the Electoral College, Clinton and Trump, and I'll just send that to her and post <laughs> that back to her. Um, the American <clears throat> public spoke. This is what we want to go in a different direction. Why would you then deny the results? That's what I don't understand. You, if, you know, because it wasn't supposed to go that way, Ed. Well, it, it, but it, it, you have to accept it. If there, we spoke about this many times. Hillary, I thought was going to win it. I believed. I believed what um, the media was saying about uh, you know the market was going to. I told you to listen to me. I sold. I sold a lot of stocks. Paid off a lot of debt because I actually believed that the market was going to cave in. So I said, "Let me get all my money well, out." That's what Mark Cuban said. And and look what happened. The market completely went in a different direction. And here's the sad part about that. Um, interest rates have gone up. I tried to refinance. I had a refinance. I ended up, thank God I locked in uh, before the election. But um, interest rates have gone up. And all along, Wall Street and people that ha that are business-minded business, business you, know, minded, um, you're, you know, or pro-business that want less regulations, they were, all, they were for Trump all along, but they were afraid to come out and say it. Why? Could, why do? You, is it now? We are at the point in, in in politics where you can't even speak your mind. You have to sit back because you don't want to come out and endorse somebody. Right. And what happened was, as soon as Trump got in, the market. There is no limit to where the markets are going to go now. And this is only and the, the beginning. Once people start making money, it's going to come down. People, uh, small businesses, will, small businesses will expand, and people are going to go to work at decent paying jobs, not minimum wage jobs, not depending on government handouts. We talked about this last week with uh, Como, with um, with the uh, you know uh, that's Cuomo, Cuomo. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> he, um, lives, he lives in Atlanta now, so yeah, exactly. Uh, with the free. Um, Education. Who's going to pay for it? The uh, the taxpayers. Yeah. But uh, who else? Cuomo also to I, the I, tune I, of one hundred sixty three million dollars. What's that? Right. To the tune of one hundred sixty three million dollars. Yeah. Just keep bringing up the deficit. What I found inter interesting. Um. You know, I watched the the uh, New York News here on satellite. You know, Cuomo was down there on the with the. That's with the Cuomo. Cuomo. <laughs> like, well, I'm saying it my way. Um. Cuomo. <laughs> Um, he was down at the subway, you know, um, announcing the Second Street subway and everything. Meanwhile, there's other parts of the subway where people were, you know, tweeting and, and, and sending Facebook on, or on Facebook that the subway system is 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 in a state of needs a lot of repairs, needs a lot of money, and he's down there for a photo op trying to say that he built the Second Avenue subway. Meanwhile, the other, all the other lines, the other. Most, you know, the ninety-nine percent of the, the um, subway system is in the need of repairs and needs a massive infusion I of money think, to bring it to the twenty-first century. I think the Second Avenue line is the Q train. Yes, because my exactly. daughter was telling me about that. She lives on the Upper East Side, and she said it's a great thing because it used to take her a lot longer. Now, you know what? You know what subway line is in need of, uh, of an overhaul? I think it's the V train. No, I'm only kidding. Frank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> He's full of jokes tonight, everybody. <laughs> the thing is, you got to. You, Everything shouldn't be a photo op. The Democrats, I think you're going to see him. I think he's going to be around in 2020. He's already putting things in place. He's trying to make everything a national issue in New York. Um, you know, all of a sudden, why all of a sudden now they're rebuilding Kennedy Airport, LaGuardia Airport? For 30 years that I lived there, the airport, we've had the worst airports in America. Why do we have to change that all of a sudden? Well, you know, it's, you, you mentioned something about he'll be there in 2020. I'm making a prediction. Okay, here the we big, go. The big race for the Democrats in the primary is going to be Mario. Uh, Mario. It's going to be Andrew Cuomo. And Hillary? And, no. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Warren. Oh, She's going no. to position herself. Who? Elizabeth Warren. And who else? That's Pocahontas. Pocahontas. And Andrew Cuomo. Oh. Those, there's going to be others. Don't get me That's wrong. That's Cuomo. Cuomo. <laughs> Andrew Harry Cuomo, Cuomo. Um, is a political hack. He is. He does I is hate go him. Around taking I hate credit him. For I used to work with right him. Th when things go wrong, you can't find him. As we were talking about the subways, the Q train is a great train. You know, it's brand new. But other subway lines are in a state of disrepair. Also, the tolls in New York are ridiculous. Easy pass. When I drove home from uh, Christmas, it's like 20-something dollars to get, over the, to get back and forth over the bridges and tunnels. So what are you going to do? Keep raising the Easy Pass? Yes. 
to finance this stuff? It's ridiculous when you say, and I don't take the t- the bridges and tunnels a lot, but when I do, I'm amazed at how how expensive. You it ever is. see Phil use a Metro card? Forget it. Yeah, you were worse than me. <laughs> They should but have put that on like Jimmy how, Fallon. How much, how much more can it go up? I mean, the George Washington Bridge is fifteen dollars. That so is ridiculous. That? The throbs in the bridge. I mean, actually, now when I go to New York, I hate. To, I end up when I'm driving around now. You know, Easy Pass is very convenient, but you have to plot. Like I was going to take the Verrazano going home. That's Verrazano. <laughs> I'm not taking the Verrazano. I'm going to go through the Williamsburg Bridge so I don't have to pay. Uh, you know, the toll. It's true. But the toll, the, I mean, that's ridiculous where people have to fund all this stuff. How much money are they making on these tolls? It's crazy, right? Unbelievable. He's right. 15 bucks, man. It's a that's lot. That's why I had to move down south. That's why I'm living in Georgia. You know what? It's, it's I think it's cheaper, Ed. It's cheaper for you to rent a car, drop the car off at the Verrazano Bridge, walk across the bridge, rent another car at the other side. I think you might save a few bucks. Or just take Uber. <laughs> let, let, the, let the taxi driver pay it. Nobody travels on planes more than Ed. He travels more than uh, Hillary. He's no, always at the airport. I, I see him on Facebook. He's on some tropical island. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I wish. I, I actually, I think I want to go away for this weekend. Uh, it's a three-day weekend coming up. You think he'd pick up a tab when we go to dinner? I, I did last time. You forgot? Yeah. I did. <laughs> he was trying to sell our leftovers to the people sitting next to us. <laughs> <laughs> I offered to buy you. I feel I still owe you White Castles because you predicted uh, Trump's victory. I'm eating healthier. I gotta say, Ed, I'm eating healthier. Mm. Oh, that's good. good. Watching sugar, watching my salt, I'm doing okay. Excellent. Oh, good. That, that's good news. And what do you have to say anyway, for yourself? What's that? Ed, what do you have to say for yourself? Um, I, well, I broke all my resolutions. But I did go to the gym today, so that's... I got to get to the gym. Uh, that's good. I yeah, but that, the out. problem is I went to the gym, and then I came home, and I had fried rice and just uh, uh, two bowls of it with... Um, fried rice? Fried rice? What's that? You had fried rice? Fried rice, <laughs> fried rice, fried rice. But I'm saying when you work, when you work out, mm. you end up you want to you eat more. That that's the problem. That's the, why I work out. That's the if very you work out. You work. Say okay, I'm not going to mm. eat more. Like last night, I oh, two nights ago, I didn't eat that much. Um, and I said okay, I'm going to cut down, and I did. But then going to the gym today, it's just you can't stop. You just eat, and then all the stuff. I, I, you turn on t- the TV, and um, that just makes you want to eat more. Nice. But uh, one other thing I wanted to address uh, was uh, how CNN, how desperate they are for viewers. Did you uh, did you see uh, Don Lemon with uh, his New Year's thing? I Being did not. drunk on TV, uh, you know, t- trying to uh, get a tattoo. That he was going to take his shirt off. The other anchor had to tell her, uh, you know, tell him to stop. Don't give Frank um, any like, ideas. This is just a bad example for. Um, think about the millions of people that are watching this on New Year's Eve. I know it's 10 days ago or nine days ago, but I, I don't understand why that, that should be a debate, how the, a network will do anything for, for, um, for viewers where they, they'll get a, have a drunk anchor on TV. See, Fox News, that was funny. I was listening to some guy talk about it, and he was saying, you know how, like, Megyn Kelly leaves or somebody leaves? He says they don't rebuild, they reload. Because mm-hmm. look what they're doing now. Their lineup is even better now because yep. they have Tucker Carlson at 9 o'clock. He was 7 o'clock. He's at 9 o'clock. You have O'Reilly at 8 you hand me a 10. There's no shortage of talent. No. And they got people there that are very, very talented that are waking, waiting to break in to the starting lineup on prime time. McCallum. Uh, McCallum was but, just given a show. But, but, look, Borders look, doesn't look have Fox, his own show, I mean, right? Fox basically has talk he at does. night and has, basic, you know, has uh, news. Not CNN, I mean, he's running forensic files, cooking programs. On Anthony Bourdain, who I do like, I'll watch that. Um, if I want to you know, find unknown. out cooking. That's Bourdain. You know, <laughs> <laughs> Bourdain cooking in Chile or something, whatever you know. Uh, he he travels the world, but uh, that's what CNN really has become. That's, that's Ed Vilbig. He travels the world. That's it. It's going to be parts unknown with Ed Vilbig. Oh, that would be cool. Parts no, I unknown. Mind doing that. And then he go like he'd eat White Castle and like. Diff- I remember I went to Ireland years and years ago, and I went to a McDonald's while I was there. Isn't that the the thing to do? Uh huh. It was in Dublin. McDonald's. Okay. They had a McDonald's. Oh wow. Well, I'll tell you this. When I was in Amsterdam and I tried to use my American Express card, they were looking at me like I was crazy. Um, most places that – American Express is not really taken um, outside of the United States. They, they portray it that it is, but it's not because uh, mer- they will not pay – merchants in Europe will not pay that type of fee for, um, you know, for who, transactions. Who was that actor, the old guy? I, I know his name. I'll see if you know. He used to say, uh, you know, basically don't leave home without it. Oh, that's oh, the, the streets of San Francisco. Yeah, yeah. That's, Col- that's Col- 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 
now. Remember? That's how old you are. Michael Foley. Douglas. Uh, I do back. know. I, see, I can't remember. You're a lot older than I am. I got I his face right there. Yeah. yeah. And who else was uh, from San Francisco? Dirty Harry, remember? Yeah. Dirty Harry. Clint Eastwood. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Eastwood. <laughs> 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 What is this show turning into a comedy show? <laughs> I'm looking to adjust my tie. I'm not even wearing one. Oh, man. But the funny part, I remember during the, you know, um, you know, if Hillary won, I said, okay, we're just gonna, um, you know, everybody would be so excited, and, um, you know, that would be the end of, you know, conservatives, and we'd have to. I was planning on doing a, a travel and, uh, you know, consumer advocate show at, from nine to nine thirty. But that's an idea. But look what happened. The, um, the American public wants to take the. Obama's. I sent you guys the article. Obama even said it. I tw- that, Obama. <laughs> Obama is a, is a, it's, but he said it in the, you know one of his article. I he tweeted that. I tweeted that. I said there an echo here. I know, but I tweeted it. I took your credit. Uh, but here's the thing that, that he even said it. They're a coastal party of people. You know the 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 elite sitting around drinking latte, and and that's and they're not addressing <laughs> the needs of the. <laughs> American people. It's in that article that I that I sent you guys. That um, are you insulting they, latte drinkers? Well, I I don't drink get, it, but I'm just asking. Uh, <laughs> um, the country is not New York, California, Massachusetts. You know, a handful <laughs> of blue states anymore. Right. Well, um, who was the who was the fellow? I think it was um, he's a senator now. Black fellow from New Jersey. I'm joining Cory Blank- Booker. Cory Booker. They said that the, the, he's the, a hack. <clears throat> the liberals want him to be like the next Obama, but he's taking such a left approach. But here's the thing: I think the blacks, are, you know, <clears throat> some blacks are really upset about the election because you're so racist. I, even even the uh, picture that's in the, you know, I've been watching this today when I came home. Uh, the picture of you know putting the the um, police um, picture uh, in the. I don't know if you guys are following this in the House of Representatives, yeah, and they, the, the people pig. take it down. The cop and now is they a put pig. It back up. Why would you put this picture up if it talks about put, killing police and it talks about after all the police that, that have been dying, why would you want to put this, this doesn't picture doesn't make any up? sense. I think there is a certain member of the black uh, coalition that wants controversy. No matter what happens, every week they want to be in the news. So right now, they're, they're worrying about you know Jeff Sessions and putting this picture back up in the House of Representatives. Uh, hello, uh, for people out there in Atlanta, the liberals lost the election. Take a back seat, as Obama said uh, when he t- won the election, that Republicans need to get to the back of the car. It, now it's the other way around. Um, people need uh, – liberals, you lost the election. Take a back seat on the bus or the car and stop trying to start controversy every single week over You want them something. to go to the back of the bus? What was that? Remember when Obama <laughs> first won the election, he said Republicans can get on board. It was I know. I'm kidding. The talk- you remember that? When yes. he talked about the car and the Republicans can get in, but they have to get to the back. That's right. Well, it's, now it's the, it's the, it's reversed. Very so demeaning. liberals, instead of starting controversy about you know uh, police brutality and all this stuff, you know the Black Coalition, I'm what I'm talking about with like that picture. Instead of starting trouble, get on the get in the back. Like, well, you know what? Like, you know what's a perfect example? When when Obama came in, I got the sense he really didn't want to work with the Democrats. Look what Donald Trump has been doing. He's been seeing. He saw Gore at Trump Towers. He saw other people that you would say, there's no way that Donald Trump would even meet with this guy, but he's doing it. Donald Trump is going to be inclusive. He wants to make this country better, and he understands he has to tap the resources of the left and the right. This is not like it's going to be all Republicans making this country great. Could you imagine if Trump did, let's say the House and the Senate went um, Democratic. Could you imagine the mess we would be in right now? I can't even imagine. It, it it would be ridiculous. The only th- th- it's just a, I I don't know if it was it, it just it's incredible. I would say use the word incredible because I never thought it was going to happen that the House and Senate and the executive branch are all Republican. At least now things can get done. But if the Senate was Democratic, uh, what's Schumer would be f- beside himself. As I don't even want to say. See, it, I think the liberals, radio, the liberals I say something should be happy. But I won't. The liberals should be happy because I think Trump is going to govern as a fiscal conservative, but a social moderate. I really do. Like, you know when you had Reagan, he was a conservative through and through. And that's why a lot of the conservatives didn't like Trump. Because he is not a conservative in the traditional sense. He is a Republican a New Yorker. That's why Giuliani couldn't get any traction, remember? Because, mm-hmm. you know, possibly hey, pro-gay marriage. Christie? Uh, someone asked me a question today. Uh, what happened to Chris Christie? How come he didn't take a, a post? Um, I think there was too much baggage. You think? I do. Bridgegate. 
Yeah, I think I think it's Trump not, didn't want any part of it. I thought he didn't take one. He wasn't offered one. Uh, yeah, but it's just now. Remember during the campaign, he was very he was close to Trump. I think something was there for him, and then I think they just said, you know what, it's not right. worth. You got to pick and choose your battles, and it wasn't worth it. Right. But uh, on the New I York think. News today on Pix Eleven um, in New York for the, our. Listeners from different states, uh, WPIX in New York, Channel 11, did a, um, a survey, and um, Governor, Chris Kiss, Governor Chris Christie only has an 18% approval rate in the state of New Jersey. Oh, yeah. So I'm wondering <laughs> if that's the reason where I think that could be. You know, but you're too unpopular. I wonder what's on home box office, Frank. What do you think? <laughs> You guys watch HBO? <laughs> no, Phil doesn't watch HBO. He watches home box office. I said that one time. He never lets me live it down. What's that? HBO. Listen, well, it's, it's 9.33. Frank is getting very tired. He's yawning in the booth. He needs to go, be to, go to bed, get a nice shave in the morning. <laughs> so we gotta wrap. we got to wrap things up. I do have you all queued up. Hey, Ed, by the way, before we leave, uh, my book, Ed, I forgot where, though, but it's going to be, uh, my book is going to be on display in Atlanta in January, like, 20 to 23 or something like that. Okay, let me know. Where. It's um, some kind of a... Uh, National Librarians Conference and some kind of convention center over there. I don't know. Ed what. should do a book signing. Remember, in Seinfeld, they had, um, <laughs> you know, it wasn't like the real. Was it the real Peterman? The Peterman tour. Well, he could sit there and say he's he knows you, right, uh, yeah, so exactly. he could sign right, your book I can for you. Frank's name. So we're on the radio together. You should so. go down to that place. No, I know why you guys want to. You guys, I, I will, but you guys want to get home to see the rest of the speech. I'm, Phil said you were um, that you both are recording it. So you get home and right get after that, he's got a plane ticket. He's going to uh, Canada. Me? Who, no, no. Obama? Obama. Oh, okay. So you meant me. With Meryl Street. Oh, what? Oh, and Rosie that O'Donnell. Was, okay. That's another thing I want to say. There is a time oh. and place for everything. Politics should not be involved at the Golden Globes. Politics should not be involved at an NFL game with with that fool in San Francisco, whatever his name is, Kaepernick. Kaepernick. Ka um, mm -hmm. Why do liberals insist on bringing their values and sticking it into everything where it shouldn't be. As I said again, Holly, you know, the, move, the Golden Globes, no place for politics. NFL football, uh, there was a Black Lives, um, I remember reading something a few weeks ago where they went into a restaurant and just people were eating on a Sunday and just overtook the restaurant. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think they've completely, just completely lost you know, th their minds basically, and they feel that they can do whatever they want because they didn't get that's their way. it. They feel is they can the do whatever they want. Is this the precedent? What's going to happen for every time we have an election? You know what happens in the Philippines every time they 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 basically assassinate each other uh, before the elections. They just go around killing you know the, the candidates, and it, it's been a problem that's been going on in the Philippines. So for instead years of a primary, they have mass murder. Is that it? Yeah. Is, is this is this what we're going to go to here? If you don't get your way, then you're just basically going to. D disrupt everything and um, shut everything down. And uh, look, what, look what they did to Trump's. Um, was it his daughter or his wife? Not his wife. His, his daughter. His daughter on Ivanka. the plane. Um, that was just. Could you imagine if that was Michelle Obama who they did that to? The racism that oh, people would be beside. Every black in America would be screaming in the streets. But because it was Trump's um, daughter, oh, it's okay. No big deal. You know, that they insult. I mean, you insult his his daughter, and his, it is her her. Her child on a on a plane, no. and it's okay. That was bad. But that's that. I just think, <clears throat> and as I said again at the beginning of the show, from what I've seen in the last few weeks, I will, I will tell you now, I'm no longer an independent. I am a republic. I will never vote Democratic again if they continue you down go this ahead. road. Mm -hmm. Listen, I'm on a hard break, uh, Frank. <laughs> getting to a, getting to a hard break. Got to wrap it up. It's nine thirty six. Oh, nine thirty. I'm a, my my contract's up. I'm we're we're on overtime. Not 9.35? What is it? 9.05 to 9.35? Your credit card's getting billed six minutes. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, make, make sure you send me my check, please. You'll get it in the mail. I need it. The way I... In Atlanta, trust me. Right. Listen, everybody, thanks Don't for watching. Don't make type of wages. That's for sure down here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Good night, everybody. Brooklyn, Dano, Murder One. Yeah, where's the music? I'm, I'm the part of the show. We need to have music at the beginning and end. Good job, Frankie.